Happy May 21st, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 quest calendar, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy fought an ancient guardian, the serpent, Nagaya. Just when we thought we'd defeated her, instead she unfurled from her hole, and we were told she is adopting a new striking tactic to deal with us. And that is where we left things. So, let's see... What adventure is on the calendar for us today? With unwavering determination, the serpent locks its eyes on you, ready to strike and devour you without hesitation. Okay, we have eight things we're going to do in order here. I do not see any hidden icons. Um, <laughs> okay, we're going to dodge and then block and then counterattack. And then distract, predict, evade, flee, and <laughs> finally plead. Uh, okay. Well, here we go. Uh, dodge, d20 plus dexterity. 11 plus our dexterity of 2 is 13. Um, the result is 14 or less. Uh, can we squeeze out two more points? Disco would give us one point, I think. Yeah, Disco. Let's check. Mm, party. And I think that's all we have that can add to our dexterity. So, uh, yeah, just plus one. So he's not, even if he succeeds in activating his dexterity bonus not going to be enough. So what does that do for us? If the result is 14 or less, you try to dodge the attack, but your movement is too slow and predictable. Reduce your health by one. So we are down to 12. 12 health. Okay. Uh, block. D20 plus strength. Strength is our strength. So, oh, 19. Excellent. That's the best result. You block the attack with formidable strength, but it takes considerable effort. Three, counterattack. It's D20 plus our attack. Our attack is six. We rolled a six. That's a 12. Um, can we... Yeah, it doesn't say... We can add defense and damage. That's not going to help us. We want a 14. We're at 12. We have Enid. We can add to our attack. Does she add two? I forget. She came through the other day for us. No, that's no, that, that's I lied. She didn't come through for us the other day. It, and it's just plus one attack. So even if she does, it won't be enough. So. Your counter fails, leaving you open to the snake's strike. Reduce your health by one. We're down to 11. Okay. I'm not too worried. As long as we're just doing one point of damage, we're going to be okay. Um, that was the counter attack. Four, distract. D20 plus intellect. Intellect is not our strength. <clears throat> but we rolled a 16, and that's the best result. Your distraction works. The snake is thrown off, its attack veering off target. Step five, predict. D20 plus wisdom. We have a plus two on our wisdom. We rolled a seven, that's a nine. Um, I have to get a 15 to get the better result. There's no way. So you try to predict the snake's movement, but fail. The snake surprises you with its attack, catching you off guard. Reduce your health by one. So we're down to ten. Okay. We do have a healing light ability we can use. We have some... Uh, I believe we have a health potion or two. So, yeah. Not too worried. Unless things get tougher here. Evade. Roll d20 plus defense. Our defense is plus six. 8 plus 6 is 14. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use a luminous shield. I don't see why not. So that gets us the best result. That adds uh, a d4. Do we need to roll that? 8 plus 6 is 14. No, we just need 1 to get to 15. So we're, 
We're good there. The snake's attack barely misses your evasive maneuver. Okay, seven. Flee. <laughs> um, roll d20 plus constitution. Our constitution is plus zero. We rolled a six. Uh, I don't, there's no way to get that to 15. You attempt to run away, but the snake is too quick. It catches up to you and lands its attack. Reduce your health by one. It's whittling us down. It's doing more damage today than it did yesterday. Nine. Nine health. Okay, last step. Plead. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is a charisma roll. Our charisma is plus one. Three. Is that three? Yeah, that's no good. Uh, there's no way to get that to 15. So you try to plead with the snake, but your plea is ignored. The snake strikes, seemingly more agitated by your attempts. Reduce your health by one. Okay, we're down to eight. My red pen is failing me. There we go. Eight health. Nagaya strikes at you fiercely in what proves to be the last attempt. The serpent's massive head descends, but as fate would have it, it crashes down on a large rock. The snake receives a severe wound, and in its dizzy state, it eventually succumbs, falling unconscious and becoming motionless. Well, that was lucky for us. <laughs> okay. We are still poisoned, so we need to do that constitution roll. Here we go. Six. Yeah, that's not going to get us there. So we need an 11. Um, so we're down to seven. Seven. Let's see if we can fix this. The book. I've erased with my finger too much, I think. We're down to seven. Are you going to write now? Nope. I think my red pen might also be running out. Made it almost, almost half a year. There we go, seven. Okay, well, <laughs> that's over, I hope, that battle. Um, and that, my friends, is May 21st. So we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.